Another type of editing you might want to do is to change the colors of a design. Let's take a look at the color toolbar. The eyedropper tool is called Pick Color, and with this tool, you can pick a color that is used in the design and apply it to another part of the design. You'll notice that when, after you choose the eyedropper tool, a paint bucket is attached to the mouse, and that is going to then change the color of the object that you click on. If I wish to get rid of the paint bucket icon attached to my mouse, I simply press Escape. The color chip next to Apply Current Color, which is the paint bucket, will always show you what color is going to be applied when you click on that particular object. Now, if you wish to use a color that is not on the screen, that is not a currently used color, you can click on Apply Current Color and then select the color that you wish to use from the color toolbar. And you'll notice that when I selected that turquoise, it is now the current color. So when I click on an object that's on screen, it's now going to turn into that color. Again, you can press Escape to deactivate. Now, another way to change the color of the object is simply to select that object first. You'll notice though, that when I click on the object of the grouped object, it is selecting everything. So if I change the color now, all the colors will be changed. The advantage of using apply current colors is that you do not have to ungroup the object or use the alt key. Now what I'll do is use the alt key and select a part of the design. And I can now click on a color in the color palette and the object will turn to that color. Now notice that all the color chips are numbered. There are a total of 56 default colors in the Bernina color palette. The blue boxes that you see in the upper right hand corner on some of the color chips in the color toolbar mean that the color is used in the design. It is very quick and easy to tell which colors are not used if you need to select a color that has not been used in the design. At the end of the color toolbar, there are up and down arrows that will take you to the different rows of the color palette. In addition, I can click on the plus and it will add a color at the end of the color palette. If I want to subtract a color, I can click on the minus sign and that will remove the last color in the color toolbar. The next icon is hide unused colors. And when I click on that, it will take all the colors that are not used in the current design away from the screen. If I want them to come back, I simply click on it again. Next to that is remove unused colors. And when I click on that, it removes the colors from the color toolbar. Notice that it is grayed out. So this is a more permanent type of change. And in order to get all the colors back, in this case, I would have to undo and that will bring the color chips back. We'll talk about the remaining tools in the color toolbar in later videos as well as the My Threads Docker.